YouTube, it's Justin Boulevard here, and welcome back to my channel and to my next video here. And this one is a really important one for those that are on Smule, because today I'm going to be talking to you about some of the things to do and not do on Smule, especially if you're going to be saving a Smule recording, especially in a group collab there. So <laughs> you want to make sure you follow these important steps to make sure that you don't mess up the group recording because it is really important to know about this and after you follow these important tips there you will have absolutely no problem should have absolutely no problem getting the right parts in especially if you're doing a group collab so i hope you're ready for this and here we go and we're going to start things off with starting off this meal recording. Now, of course, you're all familiar with how all this works there, but in case you need to know, here's what to do. So as you all know there, when you go get an invitation to join on a group collab song, usually you would find it on your messages if you go to activity and then you click the messages button at the top left-hand corner of the app window. And then you would go to the person that sent you the invitation there, you go there, and then you'll see the word join there. And then of course you were a part where you choose which part of the song to do. It doesn't matter, you can choose one of those four parts or you can go choose uh, sing your own parts there. And you probably might have to do sing your own parts there, but it's up to you. You could do that or pick one of those preloaded parts there. Now, of course, another thing to know there is you wanna make sure you set the correct filter, including the sound filter. Very important there. If you need help there, you can read it in the description of that recording there. Usually they put it in the comment there. So you wanna make sure you read it carefully before you begin there. You wanna make sure that the correct filter and the correct sound effect is in. So make sure you go set those settings proper there. And you want to make sure there, whatever parts you're given to do of that song there, you want to make sure you memorize it there. However way you do it there, of course, uh, the way I do it there, I, I read up those notes there from those images there. Whatever parts that have, say, either all or my name on it, I go type those in. I put their like, first set, second set, etc., etc. I just do it all the way through there. And what I usually do when the song is up there, I usually hold up the fingers there to know which set song it is at, like what set there. So, so I do this. There's one. Then I wait for the next part. There's two. And then there's three. And then there's four. I'll just give you a little sample there with my beatboxing. So I hope you're ready. Here we go. Boom, boom, ch -ch 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 boom, boom. And so on and so forth. So just wanted to give you a little short sample there in case you need to know. So th that's basically how I make sure that I'm on the right cue for the right part, if you know how this goes. So, so you could do it by doing it, counting up on your fingers there. Usually it helps for me there. <laughs> and hopefully it does help for you there. And if you have another method there that you do it there, you can uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below this vid there. So hopefully you will go check that out and hopefully don't mess up on the recording. And now we go on to the last portion of this tutorial vid there. What to do after you finish recording. Well, first thing you want to do there before you go save the recording, first things first, you want to make sure that you have the right filter already set there. 
if you haven't uh, set it properly there, you want to make sure you change it, whatever is said in the description there. And you also want to go make sure you have the right sound effect, sound visual effect. Well, you know how this goes. Now, one thing you want to make sure there before you go save it there, most importantly, watch it through, watch the preview there by hitting the play button, usually at the lower left hand. It's below the video window on the lower left. So hopefully you figure that out and make sure you listen through there and you want to count up on those parts there. So using the same method that you did there, you know, when the way I showed you in the demonstration there, make sure you go count it up there and make sure that the parts that you've saying are the right ones there. So make sure you watch it all the way through. And if it didn't turn out right there, uh, what to do there, you press the restart button there, which is at the top left hand corner of the app window there. And then you'll get a confirmation box saying, are you sure you want to restart? And then you go say, try again. And then you go do that again. And you want to make sure you keep doing that until you get the right parts in there. And then once you're satisfied with the parts that you sang there that are required for that, then you go click continue and the recording gets saved in the group collab there. So very simple to do there. Once you follow those procedures there it is quite neat. It does take some time there, but once you get the hang of it, you'll have no problem getting that recording saved especially in a group collab, so you don't mess anything up. And like I said before, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, if you know how this goes. So remember those tips and you'll have no problem getting the group recording saved. And that will do it for this quick little tutorial vid there on what to do before you save the recording and after your preview, the recording there to make sure you got all the parts done correctly there. So it is quite amazing there. Now, like I said before, it takes time to figure it out, but once you get the hang of it, you'll have absolutely no problem at it. So, so always remember to preview the recording there. Make sure you're satisfied with the parts that you sang correctly there as well as the, stu the proper sound effect setting that you have set there because it is very important to know about this in order to make sure that the group collab goes quite well and you don't mess it up completely there <laughs> if you know how this goes. So remember those tips and you'll have no problem with it at all. So hopefully you did enjoy this tutorial vid there. If you did, make sure you give this vid a big thumbs up by clicking the like button below this vid. Also, don't forget to share this vid with your friends by clicking the share button below. And believe me, it is real important that you do this to make sure that they all get the message there in terms of how to save the recording properly, what to do before then to make sure you're satisfied. And also, don't forget, if you want to see more of these vids here and be notified when the new ones come around here, be sure to hit the red subscribe button located below this vid if you're new to this channel or if you haven't done so. And also, do remember to turn on that bell to show all notifications so you stay up to date on the new vids that I post here. And believe me, you don't want to miss a minute of it. Now, still have one more announcement to let you know there. There will be a, another Smeal upload coming my way on my YouTube channel coming up real soon there. Of course, uh, well, you'll know about this once it is up there. So I'll fill you in on the details there once it is up there. So, so be sure to look out for that. And make sure you go check out the Christmas Caroling collab that's still going on. So hopefully you will get a chance to check it out. It is quite amazing. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. Peace.